smiling, so we have to bring in Jake from Birmingham, Alabama. Jake, what did it feel like to be there for that moment? You know, as media, in the media, people don't really get to experience it like we do. It is a special thing to see something like that. What did it feel like to be there for it? It, it if you have siblings, then you already know what it's like to love your sibling, but to never have met them and just to be in, like, it seems like they, the connection was there immediately. And to be a part of that, especially John, when he was, you heard him just, he was very emotional during that part. I mean, it was, it was awesome. Like, but the best part was doing the sit down interview with them when you actually get to sit down with both of them. And when Tom looked at John and said, I look at your eyes and I look at your nose and I see mom. That's when it hit me the most is when he said, you look just like your mom, look, look just like mom. And it was just a beautiful thing to be a part of. In talking with them, I'm sure they had messages of encouragement for other people who may have family out there that they haven't found or that they, they really don't know about. What were they telling you? How were they encouraging other people to get out there and you know really search for possibly that missing piece in their life? And it, John brought up that his daughter encouraged him to take the DNA test because John never knew his biological mom. So he could have had family out there and his daughter really was a pivotal step in this. So he took a DNA test and he found out that he had, you know, seven nephews and niece and behold a brother and they've already made that connection and he's working on to make more connection with Tom's side of the family as well. Well, that's so great. Love that story, Jake. Thanks so much. And, you know, I'm proud that his daughter encouraged him to go do that because look at that. He's found the missing piece.